Now, here's what I'm saying to Snake and Rachel and John Bon Jovi and Richie Zambora. None of you guys are any better than me. We're all musicians. But for some reason in America, everybody seems to think that there's no crack in it unless there's litigation. Legalities. I'm not into that stuff. I'm Irish. I don't su subscribe to that at all. I'd rather have a battle of the bands or any of us. That's the way we sort things out over here. Let's get up on stage and find out who the best musicians are. Now what's happened is, when you stole a name on me 25 years ago, there was no such thing as classic rock. I bet you Bon Jovi never thought he'd be still doing this thing in 25 years. Like the average age is 55, 60. But you have all these great classic rock tours, classic rock festivals, classic rock music stations, classic rock radio stations. We can't get on any, any doing the skid row thing because of the situation where people reckon it's, it's a legal deal. You know, if I haven't sued you, I must be wrong. So I'm, I've no intention of suing you. What I'm looking for is for you to say straight out that Skid Row one of the greatest bands in the world. You have a look at that video. Big Club Bremen. Gary Moore, Bush Youth. One of the, one of the, not just one of the best Irish band, rock bands in the world. One of the best rock bands in the world. So what I'm saying to you is this. All I'm saying is, I'm here. I've got a new album now. It's called Brush Shields. That's not there. If I do the Fields of Atten Roy, that's Brush Shields. If I'm going to Crow Park and I'm playing to 82,000 people on my own, to an 82,000, and if you check this out, you'll find I got the greatest ever reception. The only guy who got a better reception than me, it wasn't you too, a Bon Jovi. Unfortunately, it was Michael Bublé. <laughs> so, so all I'm saying, I can live. It's not great, but what can I say? You know what I mean? So it's all about this. Brush Shields does the, the Fields of Atten Roy. Whiskey in the Jar, Dirty Old Town. The only gig I have definitely in for this year, I have three gigs. I have the Norson Home Christmas Party in the Phoenix Park, which I do for nothing, and I sing a couple of Doris Day numbers, and a couple of Papu numbers, and I get ladies in wheelchairs to do the locomotion. <laughs> and I have, a couple of, <laughs> I have a couple of wild winds, usually on the border, where the grandmothers and the grandfathers don't care what the bride and groom think. They want me there playing the fields of Baton Roy and tearing into it. So if somebody wants me to come along and play at a wedding on the water, I do that. So I might play a couple of weddings a year. I'll definitely sing a couple of Doris Day numbers. But I'm still, not just in my opinion, but in the opinion, the opinion of all my friends, one of the greatest and the heaviest rockers of all time. And I'm going to prove it to you, because the proof of the pudding is in whether you can play or not. And over the next four to six to eight weeks, I'm going to bring my pals on to talk to me. And every week we're going to have a conversation about the old days. We're going to go through the history of Irish shock. I'm going to take you right back to the start and there's no better man than Ted Carroll. He was there even before me, I hate to admit it, but he was. And he was there from the very start. And now he's 12 record labels. 12, including Chiswick and Ace. Check them out. And you'll enjoy, come on, it's just a bit of crack. It's a bit of spinal tap. And at the same time, there's a lot of principle involved. But we're Irish, we enjoy the crack. We enjoy standing outside fish and chip vans in the middle of the night at four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and looking down the road and looking up at the stars in the sky and saying like how do we get here and I've been all over the world and I've played all over the world and I'm delighted and I'm proud to call myself Irish and if you want to call us the Irish Skid Row that's okay the American Skid Row I'd have to challenge you to a battle of the bands I'm sorry we live in the UFC world now and you call people out now it could be Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather that's not what the world is waiting on. The world is waiting on me to take on the American Skid Row, to take on John Bon Jovi. It's all made money out of the name. I don't want any money off you. All I want is for you to admit that I was Skid Row long before you were. And I'll bring all these people on week in, week out, and we're gonna have a bit of crack. We're gonna get Smiley here. We're gonna get Noel Bridgman. We're gonna get Ted Carroll. We're gonna get Frank Murray. Hopefully Shay Healy. And all the guys who were there from the start. I just want to thank us all again. Thank you. I really mean it. I want to thank us all again for getting me on websites around the world. Now, as you noticed, 99% of the comments have been negative, having to go at me. I love that. I love negative comments because to me, every negative comment is a question. I can answer every negative comment that comes in. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. So keep the comments coming in. But the most important thing is, it's all about the music. So when you listen, when I bring out this album, there's people out there saying, he's only doing this because he's bringing out a new album. That's true. But the new album is Skid Row. 
There are Brush Shields albums out there. I've got the biggest Celtic rock record in the world. Anybody will tell you that. It's, it's my birds in the fields about Roy. You watch the Republic of Ireland and Europe this year and watch how it goes now. That's what it's all about. So I want you to tune in every week. Say hello to me. This is Brush Boy, Brush Shields, Bon Jovi. Contact me soon so I can go back to using my own name. Thank you all for tuning in. See you all next week.